Hi, uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sammy and this is my first vlog. Um, I've never really thought about making a vlog before because I honestly just don't really do that much outside of work. Uh, I'm a real big homebody, especially since living in Southern California. Um, I just don't really like going out because there's so many people. <laughs> um, but today I had to take off work so I could take my dog to get her dental work done. Um, so I'm dropping her off at the vet right now and then I'm probably gonna go get something to drink just from the grocery store, maybe a snack. And then I decided I'm gonna go to uh, my local yarn shop or the most local one that I know of. Um, it's probably like 35 or 40 minutes from my house, but the vet is already like almost there. So I figured I would go. I haven't been in a long time, maybe since October uh, for my birthday. Alright, so I just got to the yarn store, I'm gonna go in, uh, it's at the marina, so it's really cute here. It's kind of windy and like 61, which might seem really warm to a lot of you from colder climates, but it was like 85 two days ago, so to me this is nice and mild and cool, so. <laughs> A lot better. Um, also, I'm wearing my shawlography. I don't wear it a lot because, like I said, it's hot here. Um, so, trying to get some use out of it today. Those colors. All right. So, I just left the store. The lady that owns it or works there kind of makes me uncomfortable sometimes because. I don't know, she just gives me standoffish vibes, like I walked in and she said, oh, can I help you? With something I said, oh no, no thank you, and then she just like stared me down. <laughs> and I was like, looking back, like not sure what to do, and I was like, uncomfortable, like uh. And uh, she was like, oh well, I'm teaching a class, we don't open till 10. I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I, I thought when I looked on maps it said you guys opened at 9.30. And she was like, no, I don't think so, and I was like, whoa okay uh do you want me to leave and she was like no i'm just letting you know i'm not gonna come ask you if you need anything and i was like okay uh that's fine and so i looked around for a few minutes and then i walked out because i was just uncomfortable and i'll go back at 10. but here's the marina i figured while i'm waiting i'll walk around it's nice and overcast today and a little breezy so, good weather for my shawl. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just awkward, so I think I mess up social situations and I, I just don't really know what to do a lot of times, but uh, it's okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, but they have their hours set to show that they open at 9 a.m. on uh, on maps. So I was wrong, it's not 9.30. <laughs> He's a heron. Okay, so I'm actually back home now, which wasn't the plan, but the longer I waited until 10, the more I thought about it and the more uncomfortable I got thinking about going back into the yarn store. Um, I was actually going to the yarn store because I wanted to um, buy a skein of yarn to mail to one of my uh, knitting friends that is going through like a little bit of a, a tough time right now. Um, she's trying to adapt to some changes. And I just wanted to send her like a little self-care box with probably some sock yarn in it. Um, but since I <laughs> couldn't go back into the yarn store to buy anything, I decided I would dye up my last skein of bare sock yarn for her um, in her favorite colors. 
so hopefully it turns out all because it's my last one and then I'll put together some other stuff for the uh, for the package so hi baby Oh, good girl. All right, so I'm getting ready to dye that um, sock yarn for my friend. So I'm gonna pick some colors here. Let me get my drawer open. All right, so here's all my dyeing stuff. Um, let me see. I need to grab my citric acid also. I'll bring the top into the kitchen so we can look better. Um, get my citric acid out. And then, let's see, this one is cantaloupe, French vanilla, buttercream. Oh, that might be a good one. Let's see. Uh, mix. Those ones are for um, plant fibers. These ones are all for um, animal fibers. Salmon. Key lime. That one's very green, even though it looks yellow. Spearmint. Sapphire. Gray. Emerald, lilac, purple, fire red, mauve, ooh, sky blue, chestnut, and brown, sun yellow. She said she likes yellow and pink. Let me grab my pink. Um, I think I only have that one pink color. Okay, so I think these are the colors I might play with. I have 608 pink from Jacquard, 601 sun yellow. Um, from Pro Chemicals, I have WF mauve and also WF buttercream, which is like a, well, it's like a buttercream color. And these jars I'm gonna use to mix the bases. So I'll mix dye, water, and some of the citric acid. Um, all these stainless steel things, this pot, um, these tongs, and a spoon I only use for dyeing. So, yeah. Alright, so I've got my yarn here. I unwound the skein. I'm going to cut the tag off and tie a loop of um, just scrap yarn on there so I can always see it and know where to grab the yarn out. So I've got my respirator ready to go. I'm going to actually put this citric acid into a jar so that um, I'll have it ready for future use since this is a new bag. And then I'm going to mix up some citric acid um, and water and then let my yarn soak in it for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, just basically until it sinks all the way into the water. Um, so that it will really absorb all of the base when I add the dye base to it.
All right, so now that I have the yarn in the citric acid water mixture, I'm just gonna wait for it to sink on its own. Um, because I believe that is a superwash, it should sink pretty fast. Um, it just seems to absorb water a lot faster. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put the citric acid label onto the jar. I'm just gonna tape it on so that we know what it is. <laughs> Almost fully submerged. We're labeled. All right, next I've made a little station to create some bases. So I have my potential colors here. I did grab out another one uh, because I don't remember what it's supposed to look like. It's the cantaloupe color. Um, and then I have just some jars that I've kept from, well, mostly salsa and pickles. Um, so I'll mix them in here to kind of see if I like the colors and want to use them. And if I do, I will add some citric acid um, to make the base. And then I will start heating up this um, water with this yarn. And when I'm ready, I will add the bases. So I'll show you guys when I mix the colors and then we'll move on from there. Um, I'm kind of hoping to do a variegated yarn. Uh, I'm not super experienced with dyeing, so Here's frost. Okay, so I have my first jar and I want to experiment with mixing buttercream and sun yellow. Um, and I just have a little plastic knife that I can use as a stir stick. So we're going to grab just a little bit, like a real little bit. You don't need a lot of these. <laughs> of buttercream. There's that. Oh, that's actually more yellow than I expected it would be. Let's stir that before we add any sun yellow. Okay. That was wrong. I need more than I thought. Oops. Okay, so we're adding buttercream to our jar of water here to see how yellow it really is. Amber actually. I'm gonna add a little bit of sun yellow, and yes, I know I'm mixing my colors by using the same spoon, I just don't really care. Let's add a little more. And to kind of see what color it turned out. I just need a piece of paper towel. So that's pretty yellow. Yeah, that's pretty yellow. I think I'm gonna add more buttercream. All right, so I've got the water pretty shallow over the top of the yarn here. Um, I've moved my four bases over here. I still have my gloves on. I don't need my respirator anymore because the citric acid is all uh, dissolved in the water, so I can't really inhale it. Um, and I'm going to, don't mind my dirty stove. I'm going to, um, turn a low heat on this and start to bring it the water hot really slowly um, and then once the water's a good temperature I'll start adding the bases and I have them here in orders that I want to add them so let's go we'll go in low heat well, my water's pretty hot now not simmering or anything I'm gonna add my first color wish me luck And then I'm just going to wait until it absorbs all the color 
and there's only clear water left. And then I'll add the next one. Oops, I forgot to fill in the last one, but I added orange. Um, so now I'm going to actually try to reposition the yarn a little bit. So we can get the other sides. And the water is clear again, as you guys can see. Maybe you can see that clear water. I'm going to add in my more peachy pink now. So I also want to show you guys that in between adding colors, I'm taking out the extra water and just dumping it. I'm not like aggressively scooping it or anything, I'm just setting this draw on top and then whatever it soaks up, I'm dumping out. Alright, so here's what we currently have. Um, I'm liking it a lot. I'm gonna try to flip the whole yarn over so I can get the other side. This will be the second time I've done that. All right, and as you can see, we have a lot more white spaces, so I'm gonna try to put some more color there. All right, so I think I got the yarn to a place where I like it. It's getting super washed out by the sun. Um, I'm not really sure how much I like it, but I'm gonna let it cool off before I, I rinse it. All right, so it's a new day. Um, I had really tangled this pink, so it didn't wind up very good. This is the one for my friend. Um, so I'm gonna rewind it so that it, it's a nicer ball. So round two. But it's all dry. It smells like birthday cake wool wash. Oh, gonna rind it again and then uh, I'll be back when I'm ready to mail it, I guess probably be in a couple days. Um, I'm gonna show you a small nitpicks haul. Okay, so here is the box that I got from nitpicks. Um, I got one of their small cedar boxes for socks. So I'm gonna go put my socks in that and then I'll show you guys that. Um, I got two balls of the Stroll fingering weight, which I've never used before, but um, I got them both in black. And this is a 75-25, so 75 merino wool, 25 nylon. Um, and it's super wash. They're 50 gram balls, and it's pretty affordable, and they're really soft, actually. I wasn't expecting them to be this soft, but they're very nice. So I got those, and then I got five balls of palette in all different colors because I want to design a sweater, and I don't know how much I'll need. So I just got one of each color for now. It's a Colorwork sweater. Um, and these are 50 grams, 231 yards fingering weight. And these are 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Um, and then, so in the, the palette, the five colors I got are indigo heather. It's really pretty purple. Let's see where I want to focus. <laughs> There we go. Um, I believe this one is Finley Heather. We have Shire Heather. Super pretty. Spearmint Heather. And Douglas Fir. Which is a deep, deep green. And then I also got, wow, if I can move these, I also got blocking mats. So let me open those up and show you. Okay, so here's the blocking mats. 
And I like this pretty nice purpley gray color, actually. I like that color. Um, and I, I, ooh, that was a travel sound, sorry. I just got the regular ones, not the premium ones. But I think it's really nice they have the directions on here. Let me see if I can turn that. So they have directions on here on how to use them and block. So that's pretty cool. And then also, I did load up the sock box. Um, these ones are unblocked, so I couldn't really fold them nicely like these ones. But these ones are my uh, bamboo pop socks that I made for my boyfriend. These are my first ever socks I made. Uh, with the Sharktastic sock set from Moon Glow Yarn Co. These are the second pair of socks I ever made, my hand dyed shorties. Uh, these are the conversation socks that I designed and just recently knit with the Sweetheart sock set. Oops, having a hard time getting them back in there. These are my cabled socks I just finished. Which is just a random uh, design I made up. And then these are my modified Thanksgiving socks made out of scraps, which I will probably be mailing to my sister since she lives in a colder climate and not Southern California, where DK weight socks or worst weight socks are probably better. And then I will have room for more socks because these take up kind of as much as. That's two pairs, I think. So, yes. Ooh, but that's really cute. Uh, I'm gonna have to make room for it in my yarn cupboard. All right, so I'm here in my room. I didn't really film very much for the vlog or I didn't film that many days. And I already mailed that yarn that, um, that I was sending to my friend. I just got really excited and like I wanted to go after work that day so I had to rush home grab the stuff and go to the post office because I get off work only 30 minutes before the post office closes so I don't have like that much to show you guys um I just been doing some random little stuff around the house like uh cleaning I, I cleaned off my makeup desk and organized it not that I really wear makeup that much, <laughs> um, but in trying to help myself feel more put together and less like frazzled and um, like overwhelmed by things. And so like also that's the same reason I, sorry I keep spinning around, that's the same reason I, I replaced the light fixture in my closet because I felt like I wasn't putting my clothes away because I couldn't see, so I had like so much laundry I couldn't <laughs> couldn't couldn't function, and so I'm just trying to do a little bit of it's almost like spring cleaning, but just like get my life together, um, so I can function in all my chaos. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog. Um, I'll probably film more. I don't know when because, like I said, I don't do that much. But I hope you guys liked it and uh, let me know what you thought below.